Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a setup video for the Fossil Series 4 Android Wear smartwatch. Now uh, to install this, first of all, you'll have to install Wear OS on your Android or iOS device. Now currently uh, the price of this is 18,696 in India on Amazon. Uh, it'll be cheaper in some other places. Uh, this was actually bought from uh, Australia. So uh, this was actually pretty cheap over there uh, for around $80 or so in one of those Christmas sales. Uh, this was purchased from there. So it uh, there, there are chances that you might get it actually pretty very cheap. So uh, uh, that's why I'm making this video now uh, because a lot of people can actually think about this watch because one it's from Fossil. Uh, it's it's actually decent enough. It's not going to be one of the great uh, smart watches. It's, it's nice. Uh, but I'll be talking about what's not uh, great about this in my later videos. So this is just a setup video. So let's go ahead, set it up. So first of all, you have to tap and you switch it on. Just tap this. It'll ask you for your language. So I'll choose uh, English, United States. Agree. Now it'll ask me to search for Q Explorist HR0473 on my phone. So I'll start the setup. Agree. Agree. And now it'll try to search for the watch. So that's the watch. Q Explorist. Now it'll uh, connect and then it'll ask you hmm, for a few permissions, but uh, okay. So it says uh, allow access to contacts and call. I'll give a check for that and then pair. Connected. So that's basically it. That's the first step. Now the entire uh, setup is done from the phone. So this screen will remain like this. This will not change. So I'll just keep this aside. Now let's see over here. Now it's going to get your watch details. Now this does actually take a few minutes, uh, doesn't uh, do it very soon. So the last time I tried to do this, this actually took a long time. Okay, so uh, now depends on how many Google accounts you have, you can actually choose which one do you want to sync. So I have two, I'll sync both of them. So now both uh, Google accounts contacts and uh, emails and all, all everything that's on Google account can be seen on my phone. So whatever the phone, uh, sorry, no, can be seen on my watch, whatever the watch allows. So we'll be looking at that in my later videos. So this is going to be a generic video for any Android device. All of them behave the same. I have a few more. I'll uh, show you uh, the other ones also. If you want me to compare, I'll do the comparison. Copy. Now I'll ask for the password. Done. Copying your account. Now, if it's uh, it's for the first time, it'll even ask you for the password for your Google account. Okay, so it's asking me for the password. Now I'll have to put in the password. Okay, so the password has been put. Now it'll uh, give me location notice. Done. Now it's finishing the setup. So this takes a little bit of time. Now I got a message on my other phone that my email ID has been used. So I'll just tell them that it's okay, it's me. Okay, so it says it'll take around five minutes. So I'll just keep it aside for now. Let's look at the watch again. Okay, so the watch still says continue setup on phone. So let's leave this here. Now, one thing I noticed is uh, this watch actually gets hot, uh, which is something that I never faced in any of my smartwatches. This one is actually pretty hot right now over here and the entire metal body is hot. So don't know why is that uh, first time for me. Uh, okay, while we are at it, let, let's talk about the build quality of this. Now this one, even though it's fossil and the name and stuff, uh, this has a metal body here, 
but everything underneath is plastic so this entire thing is plastic now this is my second watch the first watch actually the entire plastic part came off so since it was under warranty i got it replaced but the build quality is not that great uh, it looks good but uh, i'm actually afraid of doing a water test with this because uh, i think that uh, it'll fail uh, water will go in because if it was that easy for the plastic part to come out then I really don't know what to expect from this but it actually looks pretty good uh, and it's one of the cheapest uh, Android Wear watches so right now this is for 18,000 something uh, Android Wear watches go up to 30 40,000 also depending on what kind of Android Wear watch you're getting uh, the other watch that I have is uh, uh, Huawei's uh, Huawei watch so that is completely steel and uh, rough and tough and I can actually do anything with that. This one is one of those delicate ones which I'm not very sure I'll be able to use everywhere. But anyways, let's finish the setup. Okay, so they were not kidding. It says it'll take around 5 minutes, so it might take around 5 minutes, so we'll have to wait. Okay, so finally it's done. Now on the watch, it says touch done on your phone. So I'll touch that, done. Okay, so now it says completing setup. Let's see. Okay, so now it says you're all set. So I should be all set now. Okay, so finally we are done. So this is what it is. So you'll have a lot of, uh, so I'll be doing that in my second video. I'll show you what all options you have, uh, what can you expect from this. Uh, now you'll have a tutorial over here, uh, which uh, actually tells you what the button does, how to swipe and all that thing. So I'll be showing you that in my second video anyways, uh, and how to add uh, watch faces. I'll be showing you that, how to watch titles. Uh, how to control your calendar, notifications and what else, what other apps are useful for this. I'll be showing you that. Now that will be a generic video. You can actually do it on any Android Wear. It's going to be the same for all of them. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.